Well, Jen and Josh, the homeowner here tells me that she's grateful that police have found the person that caused the accident. But take a look at this. That crash caused some major damage to her home, and she says she's just grateful that no one was hurt. Jacqueline Doucette tells me she had just left to pick up her daughters from school when the crash happened. A car traveling down the street was rear-ended by another driver. The car skipped the curb, skidded across her lawn, and right into the side of the house. And she says it hit a gas line, causing a temporary evacuation of her neighbors' homes. And just take a look at the damage inside. The room at the point of impact has a wall that crumbled in one corner and two rooms upstairs have cracks. Doucette says she's waiting on an insurance adjuster to come out before they can start repairs. And she's counting her blessings that the accident happened when no one was home. I'm feeling really extremely thankful and just counting our blessings, you know, so because um, actually Autumn and I, we were um, just hanging out in this room because the kids like to watch TV and stuff. So it's kind of scary to think about it. And taking a look back out here live, again, Jacqueline Doucette says she's, she's grateful that no one was home at the time of this accident. Of course, we'll have much more on this coming up for you at 10 o'clock on MeTV and 11 o'clock right here on WMUR. For now, we are live in Pembroke. I'm Shelley Walker, WMUR News 9.